All right, now let's start with the testimonial section. Create a section tag and let's write ID as testimonial and then get inside and create a div tag and let's call it container hyphen fluid and this container hyphen fluid is a responsive class of the bootstrap and it takes the entire width of the screen or the entire width of the viewport then get inside and create a div tag with class as row then again get inside and create one more div tag let's give this div tag the entire width of the screen that is let's give this div tag all the available 12 columns so write call hyphen md hyphen 12 then create a h2 tag that is the heading tag and write class as text hyphen center to center align the text then space title then space text hyphen dark text hyphen dark is going to change the color of the text then get inside and create a strong tag this is going to create a bold text and write the text as testimonials which is the title for this section anyway get inside and now let's start with the carousel create a div tag and let's give it class as carousel space slide and write id as my hyphen carousel then data hyphen ride as carousel then get inside and create a ordered list tag or an ol tag and write the class as carousel hyphen indicators these are the indicators on the bottom of the slide which refers to the current active slide then get inside and create a list tag that is the li tag and write data hyphen target attribute as hash my hyphen carousel so these indicators are going to get the data from the my carousel then data hyphen slide hyphen 2 as 0 because this is going to be the first slide then copy this entire li tag and paste it twice all right then let's add a active class and let's make the middle one as the active slide and uh, 0 1 2 all right now let's create a div tag so a carousel has three main important parts first is the carousel indicators then we have this carousel inner part and the third part is the carousel control buttons carousel inner So anyway now let's get inside and create a div tag and write class as carousel hyphen item space text hyphen center this will create one slide in the carousel let's copy this and paste it twice so that we get three slides in total let me just quickly drop some comments All right before we forget make the second slide as the active one because we have chosen the second slide in the carousel indicator to be the active one all right now let's define the slides completely get inside the first slide and create a div tag and write class as img hyphen box space border space rounded hyphen circle this rounded hyphen circle is going to create a circle and border class is going to get border around it 
and this img hyphen box is the class that we are going to use in css to resize the images m hyphen auto this will keep the margin as auto all around then get inside and create a image tag that is the img then write the source as img forward slash profile hyphen one dot jpg you can open the starter files see the spelling of the files or the spelling of the images class as d hyphen block this is going to change the display property of this image to block then w hyphen 100 this is going to keep the width as 100 percent then space rounded hyphen circle this is going to make the image circular this bootstrap 4 has some very handy and very useful classes that we can use throughout the html part we don't even have to open the css to set these properties we can set them right away in the html then get outside the div tag and create a heading tag h5 tag and write class as py-1 this is also a very handy feature of bootstrap 4 we can use this class to add one rem padding on the top and the bottom as i have told you earlier this rem is also a relative length unit then space my-1 and this is going to set the margin top and bottom to one rem in simple words this y signifies that the padding is going to be along the y axis or the margin is going to be set along the y axis that is top and bottom then get inside and create a strong tag this will create bold text then write class as text hyphen warning and this class has a special font color attributed to it text hyphen uppercase this is going to transform the text to uppercase then write any name create one h6 tag write the class as text hyphen dark space m hyphen 1 this m hyphen 1 is going to set margin of one rem all around then write some text all right then drop down and create a paragraph text or a p tag let's write class as pt hyphen 3 space text hyphen white so you can see how easy it is to describe the color of the text or padding or margin in bootstrap 4 and let me just copy some dummy text and paste it here so with this we have completed one slide you can see where this div tag ends copy everything that is inside this div tag because this div tag is defining one slide and we have already defined the rest of the two slides we just need to define the content of these slides you can see we are starting from this div tag containing the class img hyphen box up till the ending of the paragraph text and then paste them in between the div tags of the second slide as well as the third slide and let's just make the necessary changes then paste it within the div tags of the third slide and change it and we can just minimize this carousel hyphen inner part then let's create the previous and the next buttons create a link tag that is the a tag and the link as hash my hyphen carousel and class as carousel hyphen control hyphen prev these are some predefined classes of bootstrap so we need to have them there is no alternative if you want to use the carousel of bootstrap you have to use these classes then roll as button data hyphen slide 
attribute and the value as prev then get inside and create a span tag class as carousel hyphen control hyphen prev hyphen icon this is going to define the left angle icon that we have seen in the carousels then aria hyphen hidden as true then get down and create one more span tag class sr hyphen only and the text as previous according to the bootstraps documentation this sr hyphen only is used to hide information intended only for screen readers from the layout of the rendered page so screen readers will have trouble with your forms if you don't include a label for every input so for these inline forms we can hide the labels using the sr hyphen only class anyway this has created one previous button we can copy this entire a tag and paste it and change all the prev to next then the text to next so this has completed the carousel as well you can refresh and you can see the carousel and we have the text as well the carousel is functional and we just need to style it so get inside the style tags let's start with the testimonial section write hash testimonial space dot container hyphen fluid this is going to reference that container hyphen fluid class inside the testimonial section padding as 100 pixels all around then background color as hash c0 c0 ba this is a variant of a gray color all right let's start by resizing the image right dot carousel hyphen inner space dot carousel hyphen item space dot img hyphen box this is going to reference the img hyphen box class that we have used in the div tag containing the images width as 135 pixels height as 135 pixels Then write dot carousel hyphen control hyphen pre and left as minus 100 pixels. So the previous button is already at the very beginning of its container that is the carousel hyphen inner class. By changing the left property to minus 100 pixels, we are going to place the previous button a little bit more to the left. Similarly, we are going to keep the next button a little more to the right. Alright. And now let's position the carousel hyphen indicators. So let's reference them top 330 pixels all right so we have completed up till the testimonial section Now we need to start with the contact section.
Thank you.